this guided meditation, we'll use the practice of compassion to help ease our anxiety. And before we begin, just notice, so far today, have you brought kind awareness to your thoughts, to your heart, or to your body? And if right now is the first time you are checking in, then that's perfect too. And then just take a moment to reflect upon why it is that you chose this topic. Of course, we're seeking to work with our anxiety, but why compassion? What is it about compassion that speaks to you? Notice how you're feeling right now in your body. Check in with your belly, your chest, your head. And notice if there are any emotions present that you associate with these feelings. Are there any stories present? Something you already believe or think you understand about compassion that's having a positive or negative impact? Just notice. And then remember that no matter what you're feeling, there are many others who feel the same way that you do. Remember too, that however you're feeling, it could change in any moment, especially as we increase awareness. And then now, and again at the end of this practice, check in with how you might apply this increased mindfulness to your day-to-day -day life. So we'll begin with a compassion meditation to ease anxiety. opening our hearts by practicing self-compassion and compassion for others can help us to accept our anxiety and can also give it space to change. Sometimes just a focused and kind attention is all we need to feel more peaceful and at ease. So to ease our anxiety by opening the heart We'll move through the following mindfulness exercise. Find a nice, tall, but relaxed posture in a quiet and safe space. And close your eyes if you feel safe doing so, or just leave your gaze soft. And then breathe patiently and evenly in and out through your nose. We'll count out three slow and perfect breaths. One long, full breath in. And one long, full breath out. Again, with a full, slow breath in. And a full, slow breath out. One more time, breathe in. And then empty with a breath out. Now let your breathing relax. Return to nostril breathing. And find a nice balance between letting go altogether of controlling the breath and yet still aware of extending the length of each breath out just a tiny bit. Take note of how you're feeling now in your body, heart and mind. And ask yourself what's present in the body. Maybe you notice physical sensation discomfort or ease. Just notice what's here. And 
then from an overall sense of the body, check in with the heart space. Are there any emotions present? And then what about what's going on in the mind? What are the stories, positive or negative, that are present in the mind? What types of thoughts are you associating with this felt sensation or the emotions in your heart? And just notice what's here without self-criticism, without self-judgment. In fact, not just with a noticing that is neutral, but notice what's here with an open heart with a loving kindness and a sense of compassion. And to help us tap into that sense of compassion, we'll repeat to ourselves a few phrases. The first is, these feelings are not mine alone to carry. Secondly, there are many others who feel the same way I do. And third, I accept these feelings and thoughts and emotions as a shared human experience. And each time we say these phrases throughout the practice, just notice again if there's a reaction in body, heart, or mind. And continue to be kind to yourself. Accept how you are feeling and extend your compassion. Next, bring to mind a loved one, someone whom you know personally, someone who's very dear to you. And visualize them sitting across from you right here and right now. Take note of this loved one and all their complexity. Recognize that they too feel anxiety, difficulty, or pain. They too have good and bad days. And they too have struggles which you may or may not know anything about. See if you can feel in your own body, heart, and mind what your loved one might be feeling. And then intentionally send them the following phrases. What my loved one is feeling is not theirs alone to carry. There are many others who feel the same way they do. And may they accept these feelings, thoughts, and emotions as a shared human experience. And then from your heart to theirs, send them kindness. Send them acceptance. Send them compassion. See them having received your wish. See the ease and the joy that arises as they begin to understand they're not alone. And then next, you might choose to repeat the same exercise with an acquaintance, with a challenging person, 
or with all beings in the entire world. See them seated directly across from you. See them in all their complex humanity. See their good and bad days. See their joys and their hardships. See their moments of total suffering, even those that they hide. And then with love and kindness in your heart, send them the same three phrases. What this person or these people are feeling is not theirs alone to carry. There are many others who feel the same way they do. May they accept these feelings, thoughts, and emotions as a shared human experience. And then from your heart to theirs, send them kindness, send them acceptance, and send them compassion. See them having received your wish. See the ease and the joy that arises as they begin to understand they're not alone. And recall too that you are not alone. That you are able to recognize joy and pain equally in others because you have had the experience of joy and pain yourself. And then check in with how you are feeling now, in body, heart, and mind. As you fill up with the recognition that you've sent loving kindness to so many others, Perhaps you're better able to connect with the sensation of having received loving kindness yourself. For it's that which we give that we get back in return. So continue to practice kindness, acceptance, and compassion each moment of every day. And you can rest here, exploring this topic more on your own. Or if you're ready to close the meditation, just slowly open your eyes or bring your awareness back to the space around you. And take a moment to just recognize your efforts with this practice today and rejoice in your efforts. For the more attention that we give to this good effort, the more we strengthen its karmic effect.